Straight from the couch. We got a brand new episode of Couchside for you today. Fresh from the halls of Congress, Justin. President Donald Trump just signed a bill that was sponsored by Ted Cruz into law and is the NASA Transition and Authorization Act of 2017. The key components of this, as we remember, 2016, NASA's budget was $19.3 billion. It's now going to be $19.5 billion for 2017. But that's not the most important thing here. They're switching around what the funds for NASA are going towards. It's all going to be space exploration now. They want to get a manned mission to Mars by 2033. But what they're cutting out is the Earth science portion that focuses on climate change and, and exploration within our own planet. That's going to be cut out of NASA's budget now. So, guys, what do we think about this? Uh, me, personally, I think it's a good and bad idea. And, of course, that's the cliche, easy way out answer. Reason being, it's great, because like I said in previous episodes, we do need to get off this planet. I said this. And I think we were talking about the UAE and their space program. And I even said, this is going to begin a space race of a new age. And I would not be surprised if that news or other news that they may have that we don't have may have, I guess in a sense, provoked this. But it's dangerous because the money they're taking away from Earth's you know, science that's important money we need to monitor this planet's earthquakes, you know, monitor the oceans, monitor the ice caps, which we know the ice caps are melting. Sea levels mm -hmm. inevitably will rise a great deal within the next century. Yeah. And that can mean dangerous things, especially for a coastal state like Maryland, which we live in. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a little concerned with that, but I do think it is a good idea to fund space travel. I've always said that, and I think we've definitely been stagnant in the last 40 years with our space funding. But again, I don't like the fact they're taking money away from Earth space, yeah. Earth science. You do make a good point because our future does hinge on the people that Trump surrounds mm -hmm. himself with. Um, but one good, one good aspect that I do like about this is that he does have Elon Musk mm -hmm. at, in his advisory panel, which gives him you know, a more unbiased view mm -hmm. on, you know, different ways that we can approach the technology that would take us there um, and, uh, and make sure that that money isn't necessarily mismanaged. Mm -hmm. um, but that's going to be our, our, you know, our biggest objective also. Yeah. Um, one thing that I do like about this new bill also is the fact that we're going to continue use of the International Space Station. That was also another part mm -hmm. um, of this bill that we were going to um, continue use of it until 2024. Um, and that's something that's going to help us also maintain good relations with other co uh, countries yeah. that are also in this you know, new age space yeah. race that's going on. Another thing that we should point out is that with this law is going to do is it authorizes the funding to NASA, but it doesn't necessarily appropriate it. That's a different process in the government appropriating the funds. And if we look at what Trump has done recently with his budget proposal, we've seen cuts to PBS, cuts mm -hmm. to Meals on Wheels, cuts in a lot of areas that are considered, I guess by some people, non-essential government programs to then boost the military budget. So it's still unclear, you know, when all this shakes out and Congress agrees on a budget proposal, how the funds are going to be appropriated to NASA. But this does give us some insight into what Trump wants to do with NASA, what the Republicans want to do with NASA. And it, it, like I said, it was a, a bill that was sponsored by Ted Cruz. I actually remember watching a clip of him. He was actually questioning uh, NASA um, uh, officials why we're appropriating funds towards earth science mm -hmm. so it, once that, that started to ring a bell like okay this is why they're no longer doing the earth science yeah. because the republicans don't want to go in that direction yeah. yeah one aspect that does seem a little a little fishy to me is the fact that they're also reopening the national space administration and appointing mike pence as the chairman yeah uh and this this is all happening like a week before congress is supposed to be voting on you know the 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 changing of the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. So, I mean, there's it's definitely concerning because I mean, again, I, again, these are public servants. Mm -hmm. These aren't 
scientists that have studied this stuff in school. And again, you got to remember that right. when they make their decisions, they don't know the full story. And that's what's so depressing about it. Right. Because with earth sciences, there are scientists that have spent their mm -hmm. whole lives studying this. And then you have somebody like Donald Trump, no disrespect, and it's, you know, I don't want to disrespect him, but this is a guy that made he his money on real estate. He this doesn't is a, have the experience. Yeah, he that. didn't make his money on the sciences. And right. of course, he's not going to look at that as important. He's yeah. not, you know, so it's really, I really hope that maybe in a sense, you know, with appropriations, maybe something will come out of that where there will be funds still for it. Now, does it surprise you at all that uh, that Trump did not make, su uh, suggest significant cuts to NASA, given the other things he's cut out of the oh, budget? Oh, it surprises me like yeah. no other. I am deeply surprised because, like I said, outside, and I've been, you know, Telling everybody, I'm like, you're going to apply for a job, make sure it's in the Department of Defense, because that's the only, you know, department that's probably going to be hiring for the next four years. But it is very surprising that there is a shift that he wants to fund NASA, because I, honestly, me personally, I love space. I love, you know, astronomy. I've, I've studied it, you know, just in my spare time my whole life. But it's just very interesting that I never saw him as that type of person that was, like, really interested in it. And it makes me think also back to, we were talking about another, actually I think it was the UAD episode or something like that, where they were talking about space mining. But and I, I think, think there's, I there's think money in space. Not just that, it's stories like that, mm -hmm. other countries getting involved that kind of yeah. jump-started him that. Yeah, I it's, definitely think he's think one of those guys that... It's an ego yeah, thing yeah. also. It's, yeah. But there is money in space. Yeah. There is. But it's interesting to me because like, you know, if you're looking at the the government uh, funds from like a, a libertarian or mm -hmm. conser fiscal conservative point of view, you might see NASA as a non-essential government program. And it's just kind of funny to me that he, he made small cut. He's trying to make small cuts in these other areas, mm -hmm. but then he actually wants to make a slight increase to the NASA yeah. budget. Right. Now, me personally, you know, seeing enough end of the world movies that NASA's come through and saved a day. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I, I do, I agree with this funding of NASA, but I just don't agree how they're dividing it. That's, that's just my only complaint. Yeah. Like, I really, outside of just them taking money from Earth Sciences, I don't have any complaints about it. It's actually, that's the funny thing about it. Another thing Trump, I guess, is doing right in my mind, you know, but I don't know. Well, and I guess the other way of looking at it is, you know, we already know what we're going to get from yeah, this administration. Yeah. They don't. They're not focused on climate change or no. anything uh, relevant to that. So, and not a surprise that they're taking money away from, from that them. perspective. I mean, NASA studying it while Trump's in office. I mean, it's only going to do so much good since we're not going to act on any of that information. So, and that, that that is true in a sense. It's almost like, oh, I'm gonna read this book for no reason because the final won't even be for another four to eight years when this guy's out of office. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I'm getting at here. <laughs> In that sense, yeah. All right, this makes all the much sense. All the more sense. Take the money away. Yeah, it's not like they're going to do anything. Trying with the to research. look at it from an optimist point of view. Yeah. Though, let's hope that he's laying the groundwork for a bright future. Yeah, That's seriously. I mean, yeah. you've you've heard that NASA has been toying with, at least in articles that I've read, that they're toying with the idea of ion propulsion. They're toying with the idea of newer technology. You have commercial companies flying to and from you know, the International Space Station on NASA's errand. So, I think this is a good idea to put money towards this, seeing how this is something that is actively happening every day. Yeah. And, again, yes, you know, we know that they're not going to use any of the research to make any acts in the next four to eight years on anything from the Earth Sciences, but at least it's almost reassuring that at least, okay, we have this backup plan, or we do want to get to Mars. Which again turns into, hopefully we learn from the lessons of the old NAS, 70s NASA program to keep going, you know, not just stop at Mars, or, okay, we landed a guy here, let's keep going, let's build dome cities, let's eventually terraform within 300 years, let's mine the asteroid belt. You know, I'm hoping that that's the mindset, I'm hoping it's not one of these things where the UAE said they're going, so we got to get there first. Yeah, hopefully it's not that. And I, I actually don't have too many concerns about this being yeah. about Trump's ego just because, yeah, yeah. 
again, the, the projected date is 2033. Trump will be well out of office yeah. by then. Oh, well, so he, he'll, he, he won't be able to really <laughs> reap any of the rewards or, or the glory of that. <laughs> he'll be gone. But uh, I, yeah. So it, it's kind of interesting also to look at like what what – so from that perspective, what made Trump want to do this? Was it Elon Musk in his ear? Was it some other advisor telling him he should do this? Like, I'm kind of curious I could why. Def- I could definitely see that because Elon Musk a few years ago did say he wanted to get people on Mars right. by 2030. Yeah. So this is and something they, that Elon Musk has been talking about for the last five years. They've been developing crazy rockets mm-hmm. for, for like a few years now. Yeah, um, yeah not just that, like reusable rockets. Like yeah. That. Yeah, I mean, SpaceX has so. been phenomenal and I think I definitely think this might now that you've explained it that way it definitely does sound like Elon Musk is <laughs> definitely in his ear so that's going to do it for this week's episode of Couchside make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in another week and don't forget to check out our new website um, it is littubechannel.wordpress.com uh, we will be doing blogging and actually we'll be able to reach you more often through written word as opposed to, we will also be posting our videos on the website, but check that out too. Um, we'll post the link in the information section down below. And we'll have guest writers too. We do. We actually have two. I won't name them yet. I want to keep them a surprise until the last minute. Stay tuned. So guys, what do we think about this? <sighs> this is potentially dangerous. Trump in space. Right, what the If you don't call me Jippy ass, cut! <laughs> the hell's wrong with you? Alright, that time you were in a Trump in space awesome. It was weird <laughs> and uncalled for. <laughs>